In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a form for your web page so you can have um, people respond to any questions that you have. I'm using a free service called emailmeform.com and you have to sign up as a as a member. It's pretty it's easy and simple. And then when you do there, you go to form wizard and you select the name of your form. You want to stick to some simple names. I'm going to create a parent conference uh, form letter and it asks you simple things where do you want to be emailed to and then it asks for a thank you page this is a nice feature where do you want the people to go when they click the submit button now it has how many fields do you want I want to do four fields I want to know their name their um, their their email address what their students name is and what day they would like to attend conferences so four things there then you click next and here it asks you what you want and it comes up with some basic ones for you again your name your email address it says subject I want to say students student name and then here I'm gonna put uh, what day what days can you attend now all of these over here say do you want them required some of my parents might not have an email address so I might say no I'm not requiring the email address these are saying what kind of field do you want short text short text this one is a large text with more lines if I click on the down arrow I've got some different boxes different boxes here I'm gonna do a check box check box a rate that means they can check more than one a radio buttons mean they can only check one drop down list is they can select from a list that you created or they can upload an attachment to you I'm gonna go to check box and then I'll click next the next screen is um, just some stuff on um, on the fields how what size do you want them and and so forth I'm gonna stick with what I have oh sorry down here is where I will enter the days and so I'm gonna put Monday and I have to separate it by the column here then Tuesday and then separated by the column so you just need to use those different columns then I click next and then there's more choices um, with the fonts that you want the sizes you want the colors you want you can do it you can do a, a description um, teacher conferences for them I'm actually going to um, not put a footer in there different other scripts that you can read more about it there is an ascend button a clear button there's an anti-span button um, I'm gonna take that off if you do it it has they have to enter in a um, special little password that shows up I'm not gonna do that then if I click on next it should show me some more options here I want to go to the email form website how do I want to receive my message it's gonna come coming from um, it's gonna say your name or from the email website I'm just gonna say come from the email form website so when they come into my email I know exactly what they are from and if it's a person I might not know then another option is here this final thing which is the sample of what your form looks like and you can test it out and see what it looks like if you want to go back you can you can edit it I'm just gonna click on finish and then here is my code I've got again more options here I can get the HTML code you could um, download the files if you want to um, put all of the scripting software on your own computer so you can use it again I just have to get the code so I'm just gonna click in here I'm gonna press control a to select all of it and then control C to copy it then I'm gonna open up my my web page editor and I've got it where I want to where I want the form I'm gonna click on the split design here make sure this is exactly where I want it I'm gonna paste the script in here and then I'll close this and go back to the normal design mode and there you can see my form is in there I'll press F12 to save this and it'll bring up and you can see that here is my form Here's my form. I'm going to just put in some sample Johnny email address doesn't have one. Students uh, email address make one up here. 
Um, Susan's name is Johnny Smith, and he can tend on Monday and Wednesday. And when I click on Send Mail, it's going to bring me back to the, my home page. That is how you can simply put a form in your web page for free.